Welcome to this overview of the RS Pro IIT 1500 insulation tester. The RS Pro IIT 1500 insulation tester provides insulation test voltages from 50 volt through to 1000 volt. You can also do AC and DC voltage measurements and resistance measurements. The RS Pro IIT 1500 comes with several included accessories. The first of these is the remote test probe. This test probe allows you to activate the test with the remote test button. By using the test button on the probe, you don't need to reach across to the test button on the meter. It also has a cap which provides protection for the long sharp tip to help prevent any possible shorting in high energy cabinets. The included test leads are made of nice soft flexible silicone and have good strain relief at the connectors that enter the meter. There are also test probes that connect to the test leads that have very good finger grip and protection again to prevent shorting that only expose a short portion of the test probe. The included crocodile clips allow you to connect to cables or wiring and then allow you to operate hands-free while doing insulation testing. The included manual is written in several languages and contains very clear diagrams to explain the functionality and operation of the meter. There is a magnetic hanging strap which connects to the back of the meter. This will allow you to hang the meter in any metal cabinets to give you hands-free operation. The RS Pro IIT 1500 has a nice large 4000 count display. It has an insulation test range of 0.01 mega ohm to 20 giga ohm. It's got insulation test voltages of 50, 100, 250, 500 and 1000 volts. It can perform polarization index and dielectric absorption ratio calculations. The meter selector allows you to switch between voltage, resistance and your insulation resistance test voltages. The voltage function can be very helpful to ensure that your circuits are de-energized before doing any insulation testing. The meter will auto sense whether you have an AC or a DC voltage present. The blue function button will allow you to select a low pass filter. Simply selecting the blue button while in the voltage selection will enable the low pass filter and the low pass filter icon will appear in the display. To perform any insulation resistance test, you simply select the dial to one of the voltage levels that you want to test at. This meter also allows you to store and recall any readings that you obtain from your tests. You have a lock feature which allows you to lock the test button so that you don't have to hold the test button while performing longer tests. The meter also has a comparison feature with a pass fail. So if you're doing multiple tests and want a quick pass fail on whether they're passing a certain resistance level, you simply push the compare and you can switch between various resistance levels. Here it's at 100 kilo ohm, 200 kilo ohm, 500 kilo ohm and 1 mega ohm. 2 mega ohm, 5 mega ohm, 10 mega ohm, 20 mega ohm and 50 mega ohm. It'll then return to the 100 kilo ohm. In this example I'm testing some wiring to see if it passes at the 2 mega ohm mark. I simply push and hold the test button. A result of 55 mega ohm passes and lights up the green pass LED. The results or readings are held on the screen so you have time to make a note of them. You can also push the store button to store them into memory. That test can be terminated by pushing the test button once again. If we then hold down the store button which pulls up the recall, our result is then pulled up and we can see the result. The blue function button and the comparison button with the two arrows above them will allow you to browse through any other readings that you have saved in the memories. To perform insulation tests with a supplied remote probe, we simply install one of the test leads into the common connector and have that connected up to one of your wiring points or switches that you're going to test. You then simply install the remote connection probe into the special connector. To execute the insulation test you can use the remote test switch on the probe or on the meter. The test will be active for as long as you hold down the test switch, it will then stop once you release the test switch or you can use the lock button so that you can activate the test with a momentary push of the test button and then stop it afterwards. At this point I'm going to do an insulation test at 100 volt 
using the probe with a remote test button. I can then release the test button and the result is held on the display. To conduct an insulation resistance test hands-free, simply connect both of the test leads and the crocodile clips to the cables that you want to test. You can then simply hold down the test button once you've selected your test voltage. The light will go red showing you you're doing the test and your result will be shown. Once you've made a note of the reading, you can simply push the test button to exit that result. To execute a longer test like the dielectric absorption ratio or DAR test, have your crocodile clips connected, select your test voltage and then hold down the lock button. This will initially display the PI or PI icon for the polarization index test. Push it once again to get to the DAR test. Push the test button to initiate the test. On the display you'll see the test voltage and then the insulation resistance reading which will probably change over time. If you push the blue function button you'll see the time remaining for the DAR test. Once the test completes, the result will be displayed on the screen. You can simply push the blue function button, which will show you the reading at 30 seconds and then the reading at one minute. If you want to save these, simply push the store button. There it's stored it in memory location one. To exit any PI or PI or DAR test, simply hold down the lock button. You'll note that the icon then disappears. To execute a longer manual test, simply push the lock button once, you'll see the lock annotation appear on the screen, and then push the test button once you've selected your test voltage. You then don't need to hold down the test button and you can allow that test to execute as long as you'd like. Once you're happy with the duration of the test, Simply push the test button again to stop the test and the end result will be shown on the display. The lock function is then disabled for any further testing. You'd have to push the lock button again to enter a locked mode for the any further tests. The meter also has a very handy backlight which is activated by a sensor at the top of the display. Thanks very much for watching this overview of the RS Pro IIT 1500 insulation test meter.